Okay, so I'm recording now. Thank you very much. We'll start. So what I want to share with you for this first uh, uh, video that we're doing together is going to be uh, adapting breath in asana. So what we'll be talking about are things like directional flow. We'll talk about things like uh, krama or segmented breathing. We'll talk about things like inhalation, exhalation, retention, and suspension. We'll talk about how to move uh, using different parts of the breath, how to adapt breathing in asana. That's the, the theme of this short video, is adapting breath in asana. So what I want to share with you now is uh, I have a metronome on my mobile device. And you can hear the metronome. It's making one click a second. So that means 60 clicks is one minute. So first what I'm going to have us do is I'm just going to have us explore, inhale, and exhale. Okay, so and what we're going to do is super simple. It'll just be seven second long breathing and eight second long breathing. Okay, and so you just need to sit comfortably, sit up straight, and uh, here we go. So I'm just going to start with just a short inhale, a little bit of an inhale on my own. So here I go. I'm going to breathe in. Now I'm going to breathe out. And now please join me. Seven second long breathing. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pause for a moment. And exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to do that two more times. Inhaling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pause. Hold the breath for a moment. Then exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Inhale again. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pause for a moment. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so now eight second breathing. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pause for a moment. Exhale. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pause. Notice what you feel and where. Then exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll do one more round. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pause. Notice you can feel your body. And then breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's the breathing. Krishnamacharya's teaching was that what makes yoga in asana unique is the link of movement and breath. And what his teaching was is that Yoke, the breathing and the movement are more or less like a letter inside an envelope. Essentially, we want to get, you know, the letter to fit perfectly inside the envelope. So we want the breath and the movement. In fact, what, it, what his teaching was is that movement is an extension of breath itself. So he would teach inhale and then he would instruct the movement. So the movement from Krishnamacharya's tradition is an extension of our breath. Next, I want to share a little bit about directional flow. And so that is, people often wonder, well, which is better, chest breathing or belly breathing? You know, I, I, people have a profound curiosity about chest breathing or, or belly breathing. So here I'll give you a few examples where you can experience for yourself chest breathing versus belly breathing. And all you have to do is bring your hands together. Excellent. <clears throat> so now... What, what you're going to be doing is this, so I'll show you. This is going to be inhale, and this will be exhale. So it's not very complicated at all. 
But so what I want you to do is when you inhale, as you open your hands, focus on expanding your chest. So inhale, arms open, breathe in. Feel your chest. Exhale, hands together. We'll do that two more times. Let's breathe in, open the hands. Expand your chest. Exhale, hands together. One more time. Inhale, open your hands, expand your chest. Exhale, hands together. That's chest breathing. Now as you inhale, open your hands, but this time protrude your abdomen. So push your belly out. Inhale. That's belly breathing. Exhale, hands together. Again, as you inhale, open your hands, but push your belly out. Inhale. That's belly breathing. Exhale, hands together. Can you guys feel the difference? Let's go back to chest breathing. Inhale, open your hands, expand your chest. Exhale, hands together. So that's the difference between chest breathing and belly breathing. Try this. Inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, lower your arms back down. Exhale. Good. Inhale, raise your arms and expand your chest. Inhale. Lower your arms. Exhale. Let's repeat that one more time. Ready? Let's raise our arms. Inhale, expand your chest. And lower your arms. Exhale. Good. Now this time as you inhale, raise your arms and protrude your abdomen. Push your belly out. Inhale. That's belly breathing. Exhale, arms down. I'll do that one more time. Ready? As you inhale, raise your arms, protrude your abdomen, push your belly out. Exhale, arms down. And then one more time, chest breathing, inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, arms down. So that shows you the difference between, you know, in the yoga community, the belly breathing versus the chest breathing. And it's not to say that one is more appropriate than the other, but however, we can use the techniques of chest or belly breathing differently as we practice asana. So it's straightforward as that. Okay, so now we're going to come on to our hands and knees. And uh, we'll start with just a little chakra makasana. So. Okay, so here I'm just going to show you about, so this is Chakra Vakasana, and I'll, so this is just so you can see just moving and breathing and assessing and feeling your body through simple movement. So here, I'm going to just take like a nice seven or eight second long inhale. So I'm going to breathe in now, breathe in. With my exhale, I'm going to lower my hips to the heels. I'm breathing out. Think about linking the breathing and moving together. As we breathe in, let's come back to the hands. Breathe in. With our exhale, we'll move the hips to the heels. We'll breathe out. And feel how nicely the air flows out as you bring the hips to the heels. Move with your breath. Inhale up. Feel how the air flows in. And exhale back. Feel how air flows out. In fact, you can pull in your abdomen at the pubic bone and then behind the navel to press more air out. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, back and down, pulling in your tummy, pubic bone to navel. 
Notice if you can feel your muscles. Can you feel your low back or your hips or knees or thighs? Let's do three more if you need help, huh? Link the moving and breathing together. Exhale back down, tummy in. I can feel my low back area stretching. I can feel my ankle. Two more, inhale up. The movement and breathing linked together. Exhale back, tummy in. Feel like you're pressing out all the breath from your earlier day. One more time, inhale up. Exhale back. Okay, so now with our next inhale, let's come back to our hands. So inhale, we'll come up again. But this time with our exhale, let's curl our toes. We'll lift the knees and lift our hips. So down dog. Adho Mukta Shanasana. And just like three times, let's just inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. So I've been sitting, so I'm just stretching my legs a bit. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, back down. Still though, moving with my breath, still linked together. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Now I'm gonna take a breath in. As I exhale, I'm just gonna walk my hands back. Just simple, simple. With my inhale, I'll slide my hands to standing. And exhale. Okay? We're not looking to make the practice complex. What we're looking to do is adapt breathing. So this is Tadasana. So here, this is Tadasana. I'll face the camera. The exercise looks like this. With our inhale, we're going to bring our arms out and up. I'll interlock my fingers, open my palms. As I exhale, the arms slowly come back down. That's the exercise. Good, good. Let's do that. Inhale up. Interlock the hands, open them. And exhale down. Awesome. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'll give us an experience of regulating our breath using the metronome. So you can hear the metronome. First, we'll try seven second breaths, then we'll do eight second breaths, then we'll see if we can do nine second breaths. Lengthening the inhalation and the exhale. Exhale first. Seven seconds. Breathe in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait for a moment. Lower the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Raise the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can feel your chest and shoulders. Arms come down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight second breaths. Inhale. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower the arms, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Raise the arms, one, two, three, four, five. Deep breath, six, seven, eight. Feel your chest and shoulders. Arms come down, exhale, one, two. Move as you breathe, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine second breaths. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Feel your chest and shoulders. Lower the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One more time. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Stretch. Five, six, Seven, stretch up and up and wait. Exhale, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's just using breath in asana to expand our breath threshold capacity. So and you can feel the effect. You can feel your chest and shoulders nice and free. Okay, so now here's another one. 
This is all about increasing the retention after the inhale. So here, we'll come into the position and we'll hold at the top of the inhale. And what should happen is that as we're holding the breath, it, it's like we're still breathing in. So here in this exercise, I'm going to step my right foot forward and left foot back. You'll recognize this as warrior pose, Vira Bhadrasana. So the activity looks like this, watch. I'll inhale, the hands open, and exhale, hands together. Kind of like what we did when we were sitting, remember stretching the chest? So try that, inhale, exhale, smooth breathing, inhale, Exhale. Now we're going to hold after the inhale for about three seconds. Move into the position. Inhale. Hold, hold the breath for three seconds. Feel your chest. Two, three. Exhale. Let's do that one more time. Moving into the position. Inhale. Hold the breath for three seconds. One, two, three, exhale. This will be a little bit stronger. Five second retention. Inhale. Hold your breath for five. One, two, three, four, five, exhale. Let's do that one more time, ready? Inhale, deep breath, palms up, holding, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, and rest, bring your feet together. Immediately, I can feel heat and activation. Try the second side, left foot forwards. We'll bring the hands together two times without any retention. Then we'll begin to add retention. Exhale first. Here we go. Vira Bhadrasana. We'll inhale. Exhale. We'll do that one more time. Stretching the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, next was three second retention. Inhale. Wait for three. One, two, three. Exhale. We did that one more time. Inhale with three second retention. Breathe in. One, two, three. Exhale. Next was five second retention. Here we go. Inhale. Hold the breath, five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. One, two, three, four, Five, exhale, bring the feet together and pause. So now structurally, I feel like my chest and my shoulders are much more free and open. And when I breathe in and out, my breathing feels much deeper. Okay, so hopefully you can feel that. Okay, so the next thing I want to share with you is segmenting the movement. So I'm going to show you how to use a simple movement and just segment it into parts. So the exercise will look like this. So I'm going to give you the side view. This is called Artha Uttanasana and then Uttanasana. So watch this. This is inhale. I'll come down halfway. Exhale. I'll stay there. Inhale. And exhale full. I'll stand up, inhale, and lower my arms. Let's practice that together, 
Ready? Let's raise our arms as we inhale, move as you breathe. Stretch your torso up and away. Exhale, fold halfway, open your arms. Pause there for a moment. You can arch your back just a touch as you inhale. And hands to the floor, exhale. Back to standing, inhale. Arms to the sides, exhale. We'll do that one more time. So that feels nice. Arms back up, inhale. Stretch, stretch up and away. Halfway down, exhale, arms apart. Good, we'll stay there, inhale. And fold, exhale. Inhale, standing. And exhale to the side. So that's pretty cool. That's called Krama movement. So now I'm going to show you a whole added layer. So now we're going to segment the breathing as we practice the movement. So you can watch this. I'll show you this one. So this is going to be exhaling in two parts. So watch this. This is inhale. I'll exhale half of my breath. Then the other half. That's one exhale in two parts. Inhale, standing. Arms to the sides. That's called krama, or segmented breathing. So now let's try that. Ready? Inhale, arms out and up. Deep breath. Only half of your exhale, halfway down. Then the other half all the way down. Inhale, standing. Exhale, arms to the sides. We'll do that one more time. Segmenting the breath in movement. Inhale, arms all the way up. Halfway down, half the breath. All the way down. Inhale, standing. Exhale, rest. Segmenting the breath in the movement. Okay, so now here's another one. So what's unique about breathing is that when we inhale, the muscles are, are eccentrically contracting. So what's happening is when, when we use, when we're breathing in, the muscles expand, but they, they still stay contracted to regulate the rate of expansion. And so this is to show you how to use exhale to increase lateral flexion. So I'm standing with my feet close together. Try this one. We did it before. Inhale, arms out and up. One breath. Good. Exhale, lean your shoulders to the right. Lean to the right. See if you can feel the left side of your rib cage. Good. Inhale, come up. Awesome. Now exhale, lean to the left. See if you can feel the right side of the ribcage. Can you feel those intercostal muscles? Inhale up. Good. Exhale to the right. Feel the left side of your ribcage. Good. Inhale up. Please. Good. Exhale over to the left. Feel the right side of your ribcage. Inhale up. And arms down. And you can feel that, right? So now watch how we'll use exhale to promote a deeper stretch. So again, inhale, let's take our arms up. One smooth, deep breath. Good. Now exhale again, lean to the right. Now stay here, breathe in. As you exhale, stretch further. Use your breathing to stretch. Nice. Breathe in again. Exhale, stretch. Feel the intercostal muscles of your body. Inhale, up. As you exhale, lean your shoulders left. Inhale, first. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, again. 
Exhale, stretch. Inhale, back up. And rest. So look how you're using the exhale to facilitate a greater stretch in a lateral fold. Okay? So now here's another one. Here's another one. So we have done this one before. Remember the forward folding? So watch. This is inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, arms to the sides. Let's do that one time. Can we try? Let's raise our arms. We'll inhale. We'll touch the floor. Exhale, stretch your back and legs. Let's raise our arms. Inhale. Arms to the sides. Exhale. Move with your breath. Let's do that one more time. We'll raise our arms with a smooth, deep inhale. Stretch up. And fingers to the floor. Exhale, tummy in. Feel your back and legs. Inhale, standing up. And exhale, rest. And that's pretty common. But now let, let me share this with you. This is called <clears throat> moving after the exhale. This is called moving on the suspension of our breath after the exhale. So I'll show you first. So watch what I do. I'll raise my arms as I inhale. I'm gonna exhale completely first. So now I'm exhaling. After all the air is out. And then back up. Arms to the sides. So we're moving into the forward fold after the exhale, on the suspension after the exhale. So try that. Ready? Inhale, arms up. Exhale first. Then keep the breath out in the fold. And inhale up. Exhale, arms to the sides. Moving on suspension after exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale first. Pull in your abs, pull in your abs, pull in your abs. Keep them tight. Exhale, hold, keep the breath out. Inhale up. and rest. So look how we can adapt our breathing as we practice our asanas. It's just, it just opens up a whole new world, adapting breath and asana. Okay, now we're going to come to the floor. So here we're just going to breathe in. Exhale, touch the floor. We'll look up and stretch. Let's walk the hands forwards, downward facing dog. And how about just for fun, inhale, heels up, let's stretch them a bit. Exhale, heels down, heels up, inhale. Exhale, heels down. Move as you breathe, inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Now let's bring the knees to the floor. We'll inhale, back to Chakravakasana. Exhale, hips to the heels. Inhale, back up. Okay, so now let me share this with you. This is called varying the different parts of the breath. So here, I'll share with you making the exhale even longer than the inhale. So I'll try this one. You hear the metronome clicking. Okay, let's see if we can do a seven second inhale, seven second exhale. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, move back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back down, exhale, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now make the exhale eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven seconds up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale nine seconds. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven seconds up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten seconds. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale up. Good. And let's come down onto the tummy. So there. There we're making the exhale different than the inhale. We're making the exhale longer. Okay, here's another fun, or not, well, <laughs> interesting exercise. So we know Bhujangasana, right? So we're resting on the tummy. I'll turn my head to the right side. As you inhale, lift your chest and head up off the floor. Inhale, lift it up. Stay there, exhale. Now use your breathing. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, look left, lower down. Use your breathing to make the strength exercise stronger. Inhale, chest and head lifts up. Stay there, exhale. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, look right, lower down. How about Shalabhasana? Let's do Shalabhasana. Both legs and chest. Inhale, lift up. Stay there. Exhale. Notice how that feels. Straight legs. Use your breath. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, look left, lower down. Let's repeat. Chest and legs lift. Inhale, up. We'll stay. Exhale. Straight legs. Inhale, lift higher, and look right and lower down. Rest for a moment. Okay, so now let's change the way that we move into the pose. So rather than inhaling into the pose, let's exhale into the pose. So we're changing. Rather than inhaling, we'll exhale and lift. So stay where you are. Breathe in. Exhale, lift the chest and legs. Breathe out. Wow, that feels different. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, look left, lower down. Stay where you are. Breathe in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, look right and lower down. How cool is that? Changing how you move in and out of the pose using the breath. Okay, there's another one. Let's lie down on the back. We'll do bridge pose. Dvipada pitam. Interesting, huh? How we're modifying and changing the breath. Okay, so dvipada pitam. So this is the one where our knees are bent and our feet are on the floor. And as we inhale, we're raising our arms, lifting our hips. So this is inhale up. One smooth exhale, arms and spine come down. What's nice here is you can feel all the different parts of your spine articulate. Let's just do that a couple times. Inhale, arms and hips lift. One breath. Feel your glutes, feel your thighs. Exhale, lower down. Feel your shoulder blades. Mid back, low back, sacrum and tailbone. Inhale again. Please raise your arms, lift your hips. Good. Exhale. We'll lower the arms and lower the spine. So that's pretty common in the yoga world, this variation or this version of Dvipada Pita. But try this one. Inhale. Raise your arms. Lift your hips. Keep your arms where they are. So don't move your arms, but exhale. Lower down. Notice how that feels different, how, to, how you articulate your spine differently. Keep your arms where they are, overhead. Inhale. Hips up. Exhale, back down, the arms stay overhead. 
This exercise has many therapeutic applications. Inhale, hips up. Keep your arms where they are. Exhale, lower down. But now, there's one more. Keep your arms where they are. Feel this one. This one's very unique. Inhale, lift your hips up again, please. Now stay there. Exhale completely. Everything out. And then after the exhale, keep the breath out and lower down. Notice if you can feel some suction in your abdomen. Inhale, hips up. Stay there. Exhale completely. Keeping the breath out, tummy in. Lower down and suspension. One more time. Inhale, hips up. Exhale completely. Lower down on suspension after exhale. Stay where you are, breathe in. Good job, lift your feet, touch your knees. Appanasana. Hmm. Why is this pose called Appanasana? Huh? Move the knees away as you inhale. Knees to the chest, exhale. Pull in your tummy. Appanasana. Move your knees away, inhale. Knees to the chest, exhale. Appanasana. One more time, move the knees away, inhale. Knees to the chest, exhale. Let's do one more exercise. Let's open the arms apart. Jatara Parivritti. Inhale first. Let's take the knees to the right side as we exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale, knees back up. And now exhale, let's take the knees to the left, twisting to the left. Let's do it again. Inhale up. Move as you breathe. Exhale, knees to the right. For me, it stretches across the hip sacrum, low back. Inhale, knees up. Exhale, knees left. Let's repeat that one more time. Inhale, knees up. Exhale, knees right. Tummy pulls in. And inhale, knees up. Exhale, knees to the left. Okay, good. Now, inhale, let's bring the knees back up. We'll take the knees to the right and stay. And here, we'll make each successive suspension after exhale a little bit longer. So like this, inhale first. Exhale, press the breath out. Hold the breath out for two counts. One, two, inhale again. Exhale again, press the breath out, pull in your tummy. Hold the breath out now for three counts. One, two, three. Inhale again. Exhale, press the breath out, pull in your tummy. Hold the breath out for four counts. One, two, three, four. Inhale again. Last one, exhale, press the breath out. We'll hold the breath out for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, back up. Exhale, take the knees over towards the left. Place the left palm on your right knee. Inhale first. Exhale, press the breath out with a two second suspension. One, two, inhale again. Exhale, press the breath out, three second suspension. Keep the tummy pulled in firmly. One, two, three, inhale again, please. Exhale, press the breath out. Four second suspension. One, two, three, or inhale again. Last one, exhale, press the breath out and suspend the breath for five seconds.
one, two, three, four, five. Inhale back to center. Place the hands on your knees and breathe in. Knees to the chest, up and us, the tummy pulls in. I'll do three of them. Inhale, knees move away. Can you feel the difference in how your low back feels? Exhale, knees to the chest. Inhale, move the knees away. Knees to the chest. Now we'll just rest for a minute. Stretch out the legs or rest comfortably. We'll rest for a minute. Notice the structural effect. Notice how your muscles and joints feel, but also notice how you feel energetically. Do you feel awake? Do you feel calm? Do you feel sleepy? Like, how would you describe that? Okay, so now I'm going to wiggle my fingers and toes around. I'll bend my knees and place my feet on the floor. I'm going to turn over onto one side. I'll stay there just for a moment. Okay, I'll we'll sit up. And just in closing with this video, just in closing with this video, what we practiced, what we practiced today was directional flow, the difference between chest breathing and belly breathing. We noticed how moving our bodies and bringing our attention either to the chest or the belly as we breathe, how that created a different effect. Then what we did is we learned how to increase the inhale and the exhale. We learned how to hold after inhale and increase the retention. We learned how to move in segments, segmented exhale. We moved how to use exhale to stretch more deeply. We did a movement on suspending after exhale. We changed how we lifted into backbending. We changed it from normally from inhale, we did exhale. We also did some simple movements on suspension and we learned how to increase our suspension as well. So we did a lot in a short time. Also, if you notice, we practiced axial extension poses forward bending poses, back bending poses, lateral bending poses, and twisting poses. So we had an opportunity to move the spine in all possible directions. So I hope that that was an enjoyable practice. Thank you.